In this video, we're going to do just a couple of <clears throat> uh, simple proofs, not even extremely too rigorous. Um, but given an any, any integer a, we're going to show that the following is true. 2 divides a times a plus 1. Well, for this one, um, I, I'm going to do two cases. There are going to be two cases where one where a is even and one where a is odd. <clears throat> so first, I'll say a even. So a is equal to 2k for some k in the set of integers. That's a definition of an even number. Well, what does that tell us? Therefore, a plus 1 is equal to 2k plus 1, <clears throat> right? a and a plus 1, and if a is 2k, then a plus 1 would be 2k plus 1. So that gives us a times a plus 1 is equal to 2k times 2k plus 1. Well, clearly this is an even number because it's 2 times something. So I'll finish it up by saying that um, since 2 divides 2k times 2k plus 1, obviously, because 2 times this would give you the right-hand side. Um, and since that's equal to a plus 1, we get 2 divides a times a plus 1. <clears throat> So very simple. Now the next case will be real, very similar. A odd. So A equals 2K plus 1. That's how you define an odd number for some K in the set of integers. I guess I'm going to need to put a little line there, running out of room. and a plus 1 is equal to 2k plus 2. Thus, a times a plus 1 is equal to 2k plus 1 times 2k plus 2. Oops, sorry about that. I didn't mean multiply them. Oh yeah, no, I am multiplying them. So a times a plus 1, and I have to FOIL that out to get 4k um, actually, I didn't have to do this, did I? All I need to do is factor a 2 out of this guy right here. This is equal to 2 times k plus 1. So it's 2 times k plus 1, because that's what this is equal in the, that I have underlined, times 2k plus 1. So a times a plus 1 is equal to 2 times a number, therefore it is even. So I'll finish it off running out of room here. Um, and a, a plus 1, oops, 2 divides a, a plus 1. Okay, so we broke that into two cases, um, and we proved that in either case, whether a is even or whether a is odd, 2 divides a times a plus 1. <clears throat> and that basically is pretty obvious because every other number if a is not odd, then a plus 1 is. If a is not even, then a plus 1 is. Okay, the next one is we want to prove that 3 divides a times a plus 1 times a plus 2. Well, we really have three choices. Um, notice that for some I'll use J instead of, I'll use L. For some L in the set of integers, either um, A is equal to 3L or A is equal to 3L plus 1 or A is equal to 3L plus 2. <clears throat> it couldn't be 3L plus 3 because then we could just choose a different L. Um, um, you know, it basically would get us back to this case. 
So for example, take um, you know, 10, 11, and 12. 10 would be 3 times 3 plus 1. 11 would be 3 times 3 plus 2. 12 would be 3 times 4. Okay, so it's all, it's, and essentially this comes from the fact that if you divide, do an integer divide, um, divide A by, an, by the number 3, the integer divide is going to give you either a remainder of 0, 1, or 2 in all cases. All right, so let me just do this kind of rather quickly. Um, let's suppose it's this case, A equals 3L. If that's the case, that's kind of my, my case number one. And we'll call this thing right here x. All I need to show is that x can be written as 3 times some integer. So a is equal to 3l means that x is equal to, if a is 3l, I would have 3l times 3l plus 1 times 3l plus 2. Well, that's, we're already done x is 3 times that number. So we just proved that 3 divides a, a plus 1, a plus 2. All right, so this would be like the, uh, the first case, so I'll call it case a, and then case b would be a is equal to 3l plus 1, and that would mean that this x here if a is 3l plus 1, this will be 3l plus 2 and 3l plus 3. <clears throat> so we get 3l plus 1, 3l plus 2, 3l plus 3. <clears throat> and similar to the previous problem, I can factor a 3 out of this guy. This thing that I underlined is 3 times l plus 1. So it would be 3, I'll put him first, 3 times l plus 1, and then these two, <clears throat> times 3L plus 1, 3L plus 2. And we've got X, which is all of this, equaling 3 times a number. So that gives us that 3 divides A times A plus 1, A plus 2. All right, then this third one would be A is equal to 3L plus 2. And that would mean this x, if a is 3l plus 2, I get x equals 3l plus 2, 3l plus 3, and 3l plus 4. <clears throat> well, just like before, there's a 3l plus 3 here. So I'll factor this. This is going to be 3 times l plus 1. I'll put him first times 3L plus 2, 3L plus, oops, that was a 3L plus 3. Nope, that was 3L plus 2, and the next, last one is 3L plus 4. So that goes with that. The 3L plus 2 is this one, and then the heavily underlined one is all of that. So obviously X is 3 times a number, so that gives us that 3 divides all of that, but all of that is equal to a, A plus 1, A plus 2. So we did it in three cases. We proved one of these has to be true. And regardless of which one it is, we proved that uh, 3 divides A, A plus 1, A plus 2. And the last one I think I'm going to leave you for you, leave for you to do. <clears throat> Let's see, how could we convince ourselves that 24 divides this? A, A plus 1, A plus 2, A plus 3. Well, must one of these four numbers be a multiple of 3? Of course, every third number is a multiple of 3. So either both A and A plus 3 are multiples of 3, or A plus 1 is a multiple of 3, or A plus 2 is a multiple of 3. So guaranteed, we have 1 could be 2, multiple of 3. <clears throat> now, 3 is an odd number. Even numbers are every other one. So either both of these two are even, or both of these two are even. 
So we have one multiple of three and two multiples of two, and they're not the same numbers. So for example, if this is a multiple of three here, um, well, it could be a, a multiple of six, which means it would be a multiple of two and a multiple of three. In that case, this would be a multiple of two as well, um, and, and we're done. But, but regardless, we've got a multiple of three, and we have two multiples of two. So what is three times two times two? All right, 12. Oh, I, I, that doesn't quite get us what we need. I need a one of these is a multiple of four. So let me just say we've got one multiple of two and one multiple of four. And not only that, they, these three are different. Um, let's see, is that true? One of them is a multiple of two, one of them is a multiple of four. So these two would be different. The multiple of three could be any, any of them, basically. So as long as we know that we've got a factor of three in all of these, we've got a factor of two and a different factor of four, three times two is six, times four is 24. So that's how we get. So in every sequence of four numbers, four integers, um, you know that you're going to have a multiple of two and a multiple of four, right? Every other multiple of two is a multiple of four. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. The four, eight, and 12 are all multiples of four. So we're going to have a multiple of two, and then two, two away from it will be a multiple of four. And one of these four numbers, at least, has to be a multiple of three. So that guarantees us that, you know, you may want to go through all of these um, possibilities where A is a, um, A would either be equal to 2K, 2K plus 1, 2K plus 2, or 2K plus 3. And you could kind of do it in the same way we did, and they'd have four cases here. So I'll let you uh, play with that one. Looks like a fun problem. And that's the end of our video on some simple number theory proofs.